Hey everybody, John at IPT Trans. Today we're working on a Toyota Supra A340. This is how we do the pump. 10 millimeter bolts come out. What we're going to look at is a stator support to make sure there's no twist on the splines. There's no wear in this area. If you have any wear that you could catch a fingernail on, then this thing's a paperweight. You got to throw it out. So you you know, maybe like 5,000 scoring is kind of too much. A little bit less than that's okay. Check the bushing in the rear. Bushing in the front. I want to make sure this is tight when you move it back and forth. Um, if it isn't, it's not only going to cause an alignment problem, and possibly have the drum touch down on these ceiling rings your converter apply oil can leak down through this bushing and cause a converter shutter so it's pretty critical that these two bushings are in good shape or you change them if they're not the ceiling rings you're always going to replace so you can take them off at this point if you see they're scarf cut the ends have to go together like this. Now, this is a crescent style pump. This is what's referred to as the crescent. The main thing that goes wrong with these is this gear misaligns and these gear teeth walk into the crescent. This one you can see a little bit of touching, but it's it's not bad. This is fine. It's not substantial scoring or anything like that. Outer gear. We're going to look at the outside diameter for scoring, which is fairly common, especially if you have a failure in the trans that's involved a lot of metal. And the same rule of thumb. If you could catch a fingernail on it, it's no good. So this one is all right. We're also going to check the outside diameter of where it rides for scoring. This is also fine. The front seal. And that's going to enable us to take a look at the pump bushing. Pump bushings we almost always change. Um, but you're also going to look for scoring. And um, you know, just anything out of the ordinary. And you're going to need a, a bushing driver to remove it. This will give you a little bit better look at what you're dealing with in there. You see, this one got a little blue from heat. O-ring on the outside diameter. Take off. Then we put this all aside to clean it up and reassemble it. All right, now we're going to cover the sprags in this unit. They're um, something people ask about a lot. There, there's a lot of problems with them. First of all, sprag rotation. You got to put these back in the right way. You're going to have all kinds of issues. So when you put this together. This is your, your uh, low sprag. It's got to rotate counterclockwise and it locks clockwise. All right, you always have to make sure it works that way. Your intermediate sprag for second gear, if you're holding it like that, it's going to rotate clockwise and lock counterclockwise. Your overdrive sprag. It's together correctly, holding it like this. It's going to rotate counterclockwise and lock clockwise. Now with these sprags, it's hard to see from this angle, but they're called the dog bone element sprag. And what they're designed to do is freewheel in one direction and lock in the other. With a lot of power, these things can roll over, so you want to do everything possible 
to keep them from, uh, from breaking and some surface preparation goes a long way. What causes them to roll over? I'll edit this just, part out. Just power. Uh, There's nothing. Yeah, I'll specific. get a better picture of what it looks like. And we'll just, uh, you know, I'll take two of them over to the lathe and we'll spin them. Okay. On your low sprag, there's a snap ring that retains it. Okay, there's a snap ring that retains this. The top washer. The sprag itself. Sometimes you have to pry up a little bit, especially if it's dirty. You'll notice on here there's a little retainer okay and this has to face in this direction you see it's a tab that faces up so you just think of it as as that tab keeping it from coming up out of the planetary we have another washer underneath and then a plastic washer the intermediate sprags pretty much captured so if you want to change this you're gonna to have to pop this retainer off, change the element, and then pop it back on. But you have to be real careful not to bend this because it's not going to sit on there right when you're done. Overdrive sprag is pretty much the same deal. Snap ring retains it. We have a metal plate. Brass washer. sprag element and we also have the same thing protruding tab on some of these there's also a removable sprag out erase Oops. and there's a washer underneath here okay and you also have to be careful because on some of these models these pins can fall out. Like essentially your washer is what holds them in. So if you're washing it or anything like that, make sure those inner pins stay in there or you're gonna have all kinds of problems. It's gonna melt the planetary when you put it back together. All right, it's good to prepare the surface that the sprag rides on a little bit. You don't want it too smooth. And obviously you could do this by hand, but if you have a lathe or some way to spin it, it's a little bit easier. And obviously, if you're using a lathe, you got to be pretty careful doing this. Basically, we just want to rough it up a little bit to give the uh, sprag something to bite into a little bit. We're going to do the same with the inner race for the low sprag. <laughs> 